guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my videos I'm Tiana J if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on those notifications because you don't want to miss my videos um, so today's look is for the holidays I decided to go with a little smoky glossy look um, it's very simple not really you see <laughs> you'll see my struggles that I went through while filming this video, but it wasn't really hard. Ooh. So y'all see my baby here like that and nobody was gonna say nothing. Ooh. Ooh. Fist it, it's fits. All right, but I wanted to show you guys something new that I've been trying, which isn't new, like, at all, but it's something new that I've been trying in my personal makeup routine. I tried this once and I loved it. So let me just give you guys a background story. Um, so I'm in love with highlighter. Like this is my favorite highlighter. Look at that. That baby been used. So I'm in love with um, powder highlighter, but there's this new thing called liquid highlighter and it can be used under your foundation. So when you use this under your foundation, it gives you like a natural glow. And I feel like, okay, like highlighter is slowly fading. Like some people are not even using it at all, but I'm going to use it underneath my foundation. And I'm going to show you guys, like when I tell you the glow, it, it looks natural. Like it looks like a natural glow. Like when I tell you it's so pretty. So this look that I'm going to be doing is easy for anyone to do and it's not gonna be natural like it's gonna be like a smoky oh just watch the video watch the video you'll see how it turns out so I'm gonna say I'm going to moisturize my face first and y'all know about this Mario this nothing new it's a lavender scent okay then I'm going to use some of this Fenty oh no how am I using Fenty not yet see I'm telling you this new highlighter thing it's new to me, but I'm going to show you guys the wonders that it works. Like, it's so freaking cute. There. Um, eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyebrows in this little mirror. Hopefully, you guys could see. Good enough. Now, I'm going to show you guys the wonders of this liquid highlighter so this is from i love revolution and dragon glow and it's a liquid highlighter um and yeah the color is dragon glow and it's like this really cute gold color like i'll show you guys like it's so freaking cute and at first i was like how do i use this look at that do you guys see that it's crazy like whew. i didn't know how to use this on like <laughs> my regular skin i was like do i um blend this how do i apply this it looks crazy but i think it's supposed to be applied underneath your foundation so look at that that's crazy like how do you wear that i'm learning guys i'm learning with you so blend it in it's like pretty nice but like it looks kind of stupid i'm gonna show you guys it really works and it looks really cute. I like to put some underneath my eyes. Some right here in the bridge of my nose. Here, I'm going to use some of this over here. I put mad over here. This on my chin. And my nose. Okay. Look at that. Budimus. Now I'm going to apply my Fenty foundation. And I just put it all over on top of that liquid highlighter all over my face and I do this by the pump because I do not like to waste this this is like the best foundation I ever had So 
Don't forget to get by your chin, ladies. And by the hairline. Okay. That's that. And I'm going to use my foundation brush. Now, this is from BH Cosmetics, but honestly, you can use any foundation brush. It doesn't have to be name brand. You don't have to have a high quality makeup brush in order for your makeup to come out good or use high quality makeup. I t choose to because most of the drugstore stuff that I use aren't like good. I don't know. for Good enough for me. But it's a lot of gems out there that I have not tried. So I will definitely be doing that. And don't come for me in the comments saying that foundation don't match because it most definitely does when it's dried and all blended and it matches. So mind that business, boo, because I got colored match. And it looks damn good on me, okay? Don't come for me unless I send for you. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just telling the truth. Spreading your lies in your... What's the word? Oh. <laughs> Hate. Do not. All right. Do you guys still see that glow? Like, it's underneath though. So it's like not crazy looking, but I love it. Always, always, always wet your beauty blender. Never do your makeup without a damp sponge. It's not gonna come out right. So I'm going to conceal with my NARS in medium dark i don't know how to pronounce this so cray de ocre i guess And I'm going to mix this Morphe concealer. Um, it's C2.55. It's really, really light for my skin tone. And I don't really like the product, like the consistency of it. I don't like how it, I don't like how it leaks into the skin. I don't know how to say it. Like, I just don't like the texture. I don't like the formula, but it's lighter. It's really light on my skin tone. So I like to use it when I'm really going for like a dramatic, um, I don't know, like really dramatic look. But I have to mix it with my NARS concealer because it's way too light and it makes me look dead, like as you can see. But I like using the two of them together and I'm not gonna waste it because it's Morphe, so. All right. So as you can see, that brought some more lightness to my face. And I like the way it looks when I'm trying to be like fancy and glam. Fabulous. Going with the wind, fabulous. Okay. Thank you. Well, all right, man. Now I'm gonna go in with my Hula Caramel Benefits. All right, so I just tap. Just to bronze me up. Like, I, y'all ever see, well, no, Mad Pictures a Little can be looking like that, but she just looks like really washed away. So I bronze the fuck out of my safe, myself because I don't want to look washed. Like, half, a, half of the people I follow on Facebook wear foundation and do not bronze. And they be looking washed. Like, Bitch, who are your friends? They need to tell you to change your foundation or bronze that shit up, contour, do something, bitch, because, bitch. All right, so now I'm going to use this blush. Oh my goodness, why did I forget the name of the company? Y'all know this girl. This is, uh, yeah. the 
name up, but it's gonna be tagged in the description. It's the Saharan Blush Volume 2, okay? Don't come for me. But since this is like a holiday look, I think, hmm, I think I'm gonna go for this purple down here. And I might mix the two of these. It's not like purple, it's like a mauve. Beach. Beach, you see that? Beach. This is so cute. I love this highlighter. I love this fucking blush pack. Like, my routine is coming together. And y'all can't stop me. Like, period. Oh, that's that. I'm going to just lightly. I'm not going to bake because I don't bake anymore. I'm just going to set that concealer okay then i'm going to brush it away with a brush okay like so brush that excess away because i don't know for some reason i haven't been able to find like a good setting powder that doesn't give me flashback but the NYX HD finishing powder, yeah. Shit gives me flashback, so I use a little bit and that is all. All right, now into the best part, the eyeshadow part, okay? I'm going to prime my eyes with the soft ochre. Why every single fucking thing I have is soft ochre, okay? Everything soca de okra, okay. Everything I wear has freaking okra. Like I don't, I don't understand. But yeah, we're gonna go in, prime my eyelids, Mac primer. Um, Cause we want that color to last. You want that eye shadow to last. For this look, I'm going to be using the Chocolate Bar by Too Faced palette and the Old Naked 3 by Urban Decay. Um, since I'm going for a smoky eye, I feel like this is, these are like the best palettes that I own that I can achieve this look with. I'm going to use Nooner which is this color right here. As you can see, I love it so much. Okay, so I'm gonna use it as a transition color. So, I wanna... Oh, I need a fluffier brush. It's not fluffy. Here it is. And for the second color, I'm gonna do like a dark brown. So we're gonna switch over to the chocolate bar palette and we're gonna use this brown over here in the corner. Called Triple Fudge. All right, then for my next color, I'm going to use, hmm. Hmm. 
this color here, hot chocolate. And just apply it right underneath that color. And trying to diffuse it, but it doesn't want to. But with hot chocolate and go right over that black looking color, give it some shimmer. Okay, now the fun part, I'm going to go in, back in with my matte concealer, we're going to do a cut crease. But trust me, it's not going to be hard. Want to know why? Because I have sunken eyelids. So I literally just do something simple. Because my eyelids are not formed like most humans. When they sink in and people can even tell I have a cut crease sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time, not sometimes. Most of the time, people cannot tell I have a cut crease. And now all my hard work goes unnoticed. All right. That's the hardest part. Got it down. Got it. Now, going to go in chocolate bar palette. We're going to use this salted caramel color right here. We're just going to. We're just going to pat that in the middle of our eyelids, just the middle, okay. like so. And now I'm going to do my favorite. I'm going to take a little tiny brush, I'm going to spray it with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And Actually, I'm going to take, take the color the Dust, which is this See color right happens. here and put it in my tear duct it really is dust guys Ooh, bitch so y'all see that be very careful Okay. There and then no. Blend that out so the line isn't so harsh. And now I'm going to not smoky enough for me. I'm going to smoke it out just a bit more with some colors from the Naked Palette. Ooh, chow. I'm gonna go in with Mugshot. That says subtle. Right here. I'm lying. This ain't no subtle look. All right, so this. now, 
going to go on my liquid okay, eyeliner. I'm going to do a very eyes. thin line. Just smoke it out. I'm not doing no cat bit, eyes because I'm going like to wear lashes. The, so I like this too. Very right thin here, line. So I'm just going to smoke it out a little. Like that. Okay. Chow. Look at all this. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, okay. Also, forgot to do my bottom lids. I never do my bottom lids. Like, I be forgetting all the time. But I'm going to smoke it out with Factory. This color right here. All the way through. It's like a shimmery brown. Jesus. Well, this is what you do when you go overboard. Take some of that leftover foundation. Clean it up. Jesus, I said to hell with my foundation. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? So we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. I don't want harsh lines like that. Wasn't yeah. Last but not least, yeah. lashes. Oh, before I apply right. my lashes, I always set my makeup. So that's that. So we're gonna take my favorite highlighter and just do. My nose and okay. my so I'm going to be using my flawless lashes from my company. So I'm going to be using a lip combo. Guys, this is going to be the topper. I love this color, it's so pretty. It's Morphe's new um, lip gloss, but it's called Froze, like Rose, but Rose. Love it. Favorite for the summer, favorite for the holidays. All right, so here's my lip combo. I'm gonna go in with the NYX 
lip liner in color all right guys nutmeg lashes are my lips now i'm going my non-existent lips Now I'm going to go in with the but no, NYX we can't liquid here. We need to mention our, our color. Goals. So we're going to go mm -hmm. in with the Morphe, <laughs> Morphe lip gloss. Guys, the glitter in this is so pretty. Like, you see that iridescent? Peach, you're going to be having iridescent lips on Christmas or Hanukkah. See, we're going to kind of like, it's liquid matte, so it like meets your lips. Double you don't want that don't want that so i'm gonna go in with the nyx butter gloss and color fortune cookie yep fortune cookie and that's a look ladies so what? Yeah. 